This week's Brew of the Coaches question comes from Joe Potter. I have been running for the past five years and my running gait has never been amazing. Last summer, I injured my Achilles tendons when doing some hills. I figured this was most likely because of overtraining, so I rested. It's mostly fine now, but sometimes I do get some arch pain. I recently went to podiatrist. They recommended orthotics, which I'd have to wear forever. Is this the only method to fix the problem or the best? Oh, I forgot to mention my pronation is terrible. I land on the outer front edge of my shoes. Thanks, Joe Potter. That seems quite doom and gloom to have a lifetime intervention of um, orthotics. Yeah, it's not something I've ever had to, luckily I've not had experience with, but any of our coaches, Russell, Eddie? Yes. Please? <clears throat> so I have had um, lifelong trouble with Achilles um, in my early 20s. I was, uh, believe it or not, quite a good track runner. I don't like to bang on about it, but um, Achilles rupture. And I went through the whole gamut of rehab, electromagnetic therapy, shockwave therapy, cortisone injections, acupuncture. There was orthotics and it cost me thousands of pounds and none of it worked. I just think the whole thing is not actually addressing the issue. And the issue is that you're weak. <laughs> So the main things that I learned <laughs> too, that made me uh, injury proof and now I don't get Achilles issues, I get the cracking from the scar tissue. One thing that really helped me was barefoot shoes and just walking around in barefoot shoes all day just to strengthen and lengthen the lower legs, the calf, the shin, the whole thing. And I never used to do that. It's been very toey. Your foot is perfect. It's 2 million years of evolution. Supporting your arch it's just going to weaken your arch and that's what orthotics do. So really working on actually addressing the issue, which is going to be just an inherent weakness that we get from being in shoes all the time, walking on stable, even surfaces like concrete and road. So we're not getting that constant need to adjust and adapt to the environment. And that was the main thing that I did. And it took a year um, of walking with, I sometimes have a rucksack on, sometimes have um weight vest on and do a lot of stuff barefoot on grass off-road it was a long-term intervention and it worked and i don't have a kid's trouble anymore the orthotic stuff i tried it it just shifted the problem straight onto another place that wasn't used to having more stress on it i just don't see it working long term for anyone personally but i'm about to get torn apart here <laughs> anyway but that would be my my recommendation I'd never t tear you apart, Russell. I'd be too scared what you might post on Instagram about me. The truth. Eddie's <laughs> sudden breaking truth. Non-airbrushed pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them all saved up, ready to go. Oh, Joe. Oh, it's very common. Yeah, running for five years, everything's been going amazing. And then the body might just be like... You know, if you're a runner, you're going to get injured. So let's, like Russell said, this sounds like doom and gloom, but it's not. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like you're running hills and maybe you are into trail running. So orthotics might help you in the initial stages in that they might take the load off the Achilles while you're managing it and strengthen it. But I, I agree with Russell. I don't think that you need them forever unless there is something fundamentally wrong with your biomechanics. Uh, I was explaining to Russell that I tore, I found, I found out the English word of it. It's my flexor rectinaculum. I don't want to say that wrong because it sounds like it's not in my ankle, but it is. <laughs> and I actually shed it. I Is that right? I get it rubbed against my ski boot one season so much that I li I tore it. And then it, the ankle tend, it doesn't... Um, it's holding the ankle tendons in place. And that so your ankle basically just like falls apart. So I had no stability in the ankle. Got some funny pictures of like my mates helping me, like anything we had to cross like technical, I'd be like, I can't feel my ankle. It's taken me a long time to rebuild the strength on it. And But I've worked with a guy in Chamonix who built me some very light orthotics. They don't put my foot into a rigid place where they didn't move, but they support the ankle so that when I'm running on technical, terrain the ankle is sitting in the right place because now that I've got all this scar tissue you know, it's so dull anyway there is a time and place for orthotics but with an Achilles injury I do think you can like Russell said you can get an Achilles injury right and I think 
let's address that problem rather than sticking an orthotic into it. Like Russell did sort of, I always recommend people after they've been to the physio is to read all about the Alfredson protocol. I did this too when I had an Achilles injury. Like Russell, it's something that I have to maintain my Achilles because they like to be really short and angry most of the time. Have a read about Alfredson, what he did. Basically, he blew his Achilles and then he rebuilt them, which is pretty much what Russell did as well well is that you you have to load the tendon in order to get a better any tendon anyone who's had hamstring issues or anything knows that actually resting doesn't make them better you have to load them but it has to be a very careful process so joe i would say maybe find a really good physio who wants to get you back running well or maybe a personal trainer who's got some experience with that who can help you rebuild this achilles and load it appropriately and also your foot strength so if you are a big pronator there's loads of ex toe walks, heel walks, picking up pens, picking up tea towels, doing like round the clock with your feet. So actually it's like, often we think, oh, why do I have to do this? This is adding like 20 minutes worth of work into my day. But if you want to run, it might be something that, yes, you don't need to wear orthotics for the rest of your life, but you will always need to work on your foot strength and mobility for the rest of your life for like 15, 20 minutes every other day. But I would say, look at that. And also (laughs) look at the rest of your body. Look at right from the top of the chain, your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings, everybody, everything. When we start running, we often can have two or three years of really good running and we feel great and we're really strong. And then slowly as your body can cope with more volume, you do longer races, you go, oh, actually... The biomechanics are not quite the right for that. And an injury comes in. And then we spend the next few years going, but I was so perfect. What happened? It's a very common story. So go back to the roots, Joe. Strengthen those Achilles. Find, get a good team around you. We're not saying just throw the orthotics out the window, but maybe look at other ways to support that rehab as well. Russell is. Russell's saying throw. I'm saying maybe just keep them in the back room and use them when appropriately. And also, if you're worried about time, I'd sacrifice a little bit of running. I quite often... You, maybe, Gary, no. you are. That is just absolute <laughs> yeah. no, I, 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 I walk, from your mouth. <laughs> I'll maybe walk the last, say, half a mile, but I'll do some some foot drills as opposed to uh, just adding something extra to oh, my walking day. walking is so underrated, and I'll bang on about this for the rest of my days. Walking is so good for the body. That's, always barefoot, pretty much always barefoot around the hall. That's too. great. It's hard in the winter and the dark, and, you know, if you have to... Pop into the supermarket. <laughs> Look a bit silly, but, <laughs> but easier for Trish in Australia. For sure, barefoot is great. Oh, barefoot shoes. Thongs all the way here. Thongs. <laughs> Do you so find good. that thongs cripple thongs. your feet though, Trish? No, I'm barefoot a lot. So I'm with Russell. I when we're when I'm inside the house, I'm barefoot all the time. I mean, to be fair, like over here, I'm in thongs like all the all the time. Anyway, unless Wash I'm in trainers. Um, Wash a picture. I would just suggest as well, Joe, not maybe to, for me, um, like Eddie says, I constantly have to work on, on my Achilles issues, tight calves, but I never run barefoot or even um, in barefoot shoes, just too much of a jump for me. We've actually evolved running in shoes. Most of us would come through puberty wearing shoes and that's very hard to then backtrack on on all of that, but all of that growth in your body just being accustomed to that. So it's just, you know, the whole Born to Run um, saga that went on ended up with a lot more injuries than less because people were jumping into this barefoot revolution too quickly. And some people do manage it. I never managed to, to run in barefoot shoes for any amount of time, but definitely walking and, and doing as much as you can around running. Good luck, Joe. Keep us posted. Good luck, Joe. You got this, Joe. 